Hi everybody. So today is National Stress Awareness Day and I thought I would take a moment just to talk to you all about stress and how apropos <laughs> this day actually is. It's actually um, National Stress Awareness Month. So how appropriate, right? I mean, I think everybody every day has faced some sort of stress with this quarantine and isolation and sickness and so forth. So I thought I would take a moment to talk to you about what I do to help relieve my stress. Um, I think it's really important every day to pause and really just set an intention. And I try my hardest, you know, and I'm not one, I'm not going to tell you that I don't get stressed out because I definitely do. But I think I'm just trying to deal with it in a way that is positive. And so one thing I like to do is take a pause. So, you know, if you're um, out and you've got, you know, you've got to work from home and you've got kids to homeschool and you're trying to fit everything in and it's just nearly impossible sometimes, you know, and you get really frustrated. Um, what my husband and I do is like we take turns. We are like, yeah, you need to go out for a walk. Go for a walk by yourself. Um, so that's something good I think also um, for me it's been exercise um, I had gone from you know literally working out so much as a part of my life I ran the Boston Marathon three times and um, working out has always been a part of my life and then I had gone on bed rest with my daughter for I don't know five and a half months or so and then was trying to have another baby and so I kind of got out of my routine and then started my own business so it had probably been like a good almost year that I wasn't doing a whole lot I was feeling really terrible and so this quarantine has allowed me to really focus on my health and you know, I've gone from working out maybe one or two days a week to six days a week. Um, it's great. There's so many resources out there right now for you to be healthy. Um, I'm tracking my food and everything, sending it to my trainer to look at. And um, I'm using my fitness pal. So if you guys have that app and you kind of want to see, I think it really makes you accountable because one, he checks in with me every day and comments on my workouts and comments on my food and everything. So it's kind of nice to have that because I feel like when I wasn't doing that for the first couple of weeks, I was definitely, you know, eating just stuff that was around like kids snacks and wasn't really being cognizant of what I was putting in my body. So hydrating. Um, yes, we are drinking alcohol. We are, <laughs> are big wine drinkers. And so my husband and I will have some wine at night. Um, and that just helps relax us. That's kind of like what we would normally do, right? We would go to, we're foodies. So we love to go out to dinner. We love to go to restaurants. So it's been hard for us um, and not being able to travel. We're supposed to go to Paris on Saturday for a week with our kids. And it's just been, you know, we're trying to make the most of it. I think just really spending time and convincing myself, you know what? Yes, I'm getting aggravated and sometimes I do have a short fuse, but you know what? This is like being on maternity leave. Like when am I ever going to have this much time to spend with my children, right? Like I'm working from home um, and I get to see them all day long and not wonder like, oh, I wonder what they're doing at school today or what you doing in ballet or what you doing in art class. So it's actually been nice to have all this quality time and yes we miss our friends and family so much but I think it's really helped out to have social media and you know FaceTime and I've seen so many people you know getting out and getting fresh air and playing in the backyards and um, more so than probably you would normally do right like you work all day you get home the kids will go to school their activities and then you sit down for dinner and it's like oh my gosh this rat race and um, so it's been a little bit refreshing just to, you know, have a new schedule, a different kind of schedule. So I'd love to hear what your stress relievers are. Obviously, where I'm taking good care of my skin, I'm sneaking in for my spa treatments. I have nothing on my face. We just did some masks, my daughters and I. Um, so it's just been nice to really hone in on self-care and self-love. So I hope that um, resonates with you and I'd love to hear how you relieve your stress.